Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for our college visit series. We're very excited to have Dan Willett with us today from Savannah College of Art and Design. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat and we'll be sure to get to them by the end of the presentation. So thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this over to Mr. Willett so he can get started. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm Dan Willett. I'm the Assistant Director of Admission for the Savannah College of Art and Design. Specifically, I work with Virginia, West Virginia, and the Pittsburgh area, but I'm happy to help anybody that needs it. Um, those of you guys that are watching on video pre-recorded, um, I'll make sure to leave my contact information with you guys, as well as a fee waiver code for application today. So if you do have any questions later, you can reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to help. To get you guys kind of introduced to Savannah College of Art and Design, if you're not super familiar, I have about a one minute video that we're gonna start with. I'm driven to create. To be expressive. To collaborate with only the best and across disciplines. If you have an outlet like the arts where you can be in these other worlds and imagine anything, growing up in the arts, I've seen it change people's lives. There are things happening in our classrooms where students are actually reimagining their own education in the way that we communicate with each other. What is that next step for them? How are they gonna make those contacts with their future employers? During my time at SCAD, what was so magical was that it was this hot pot of creative people from different types of majors that could influence each other. I would say my two greatest lessons that I learned from SCAD were learning the structure of the industry and, and the strong work ethic, but I think you really hone those skills at SCAD. I am the creative director of my Super John Rogers. Growing up, I always knew that that passion was that passion. I absolutely love SCAD. I love SCAD too. I love it more than John Krasinski. Hey, Beach. Hey, SCAD. Hello, SCAD. Extremely bright, smart people who love creativity, fashion, design, art, film, telling their version of their own story. I am an artist, I am a performer. I'm an entrepreneur. Storyteller. Thanks to SCAD, my future as a creative professional is real. It's happening. You are the next incarnation of this beautiful planet that needs design, that needs beauty, that needs your mind and your spirit and your energy, your power, your unique voice. Because you have something unique to say. This is SCAD. So that's a real brief intro into the university. There are a lot of things to take in and then we'll try to peel some of those layers back. But just as an intro, uh, our little history, we're 41 years old, so we're pretty young as a university. This was our first building. The story to it is pretty cool. Paula Wallace, who is the founder and still the current president. She was an art teacher in Atlanta teaching at the public school and decided that the public school system wasn't really her, her best approach. So she decided to quit her job, sold all of her stuff, and then moved to an arts, uh, to start at a university kind of in the way that she thought would be successful into getting students into the industry and chasing their passions. So this was our first building. I think there were seven teachers and 77 students, 12 teachers and 77 students. So in those 40 years, we've grown pretty exponentially. We have 15,000 students at all of our universities. Uh, we represent all 50 states and we have a really diverse student body. There's 100 plus countries, something like 28% of our students are international students currently. So you're gonna meet and make friends with and connections and network with people from all over the world, all kinds of great artists. One of the awesome things about the school is that when you apply to SCAD, you're not applying to a certain campus, you're applying to just the school as a whole. So we have a lot of different options of where you can study. You can tell us which one is for you. The first one is the Atlanta campus. There is a study abroad campus in France in Lacoste. 
There's a SCAD campus, this is kind of our namesake in Savannah, Georgia. And then we have really expanded our e-learning program uh, this year. It's, it's been a really big success. You can study anywhere you have an internet address. I'll touch a little bit on each of those. The first one, Atlanta. Atlanta is a big city with a smaller campus. We have, I think, eight buildings in Atlanta. This is our writing building you see here. Writers, dramatic writers, um, you're gonna spend a lot of time in this building, it's really cool. It's an old colonial house that they've redone. It's super quiet inside, right in the middle of Midtown. It's really amazing. Uh, Atlanta has tons and tons of opportunities. Fortune 500s, they do Marvel Comics Universe, Netflix, Hulu, uh, The Walking Dead films there. They do CNN, TNT, stuff like Starburns, Rick and Morty, uh, Steven Universe. There's Activision games, Blue Sky, EA. Almost anything you want to do in creative industries and in art and design, there's something in Atlanta for you. Fashion, I think there's a Gucci and Prada office. I mean, it's just rife with opportunity. 3,000 students here. You can come here. Um, there are a few things that are only in Atlanta. One is television production and the other is our sculpture because there's a big sculpture studio here. The Lacoste campus. This takes about 100 students at a time. It is our study abroad experience because it is a really small campus. This is the actual campus. It's an old Roman village that we've purchased some of the buildings and turned into learning spaces. The reason they can't send that many people is because only 200 live there full time. But what they'll do is send majors together, like let's say accessory design, photography, and fashion. You would work for 10 weeks and collaborate and create maybe a capsule and then release that. Also, one of the midweeks of this is really cool. You get to take a train to Paris and see the Louvre and the catacombs and Notre Dame and all the culture. You do have to write quite a bit about it, but it's, you know, in my opinion, it's a lot better than taking an exam week. You get to go travel and, and see the culture of Europe, which is awesome. Everybody can, can do this, but you can only do it one time for 10 weeks. Savannah, this is our biggest school, our namesake. There's like 10,000 plus students here right now. So immediately you're going to be surrounding yourself with thousands upon thousands of artists that just want to get together, make friends, make connections, create together, talk about ideas. Uh, and the city itself is really, really amazing. It's one of the one of those cities that survived the Civil War after the North came down and they burned a bunch of the cities. Savannah survived and still has some of these cobblestone streets and old world history to it. But they take those buildings and they make them renovated on the inside to be really technologically advanced, modern. I mean, it's really, there, there are 88 buildings in SCAD Savannah. So as Atlanta is this big city with a small campus, SCAD Savannah is gonna be a small city with a really big campus on it. We coexist with the city at this point. It's about 20 minutes from Tybee Island, the beach too. So it's a really nice kind of tropical um, weather there. E-learning platform we have expanded. Anywhere you have an internet address is where you can study. That means you can be at home. You could, so. Really, you could tell us where you want to study. I want to start in Atlanta and spend 10 weeks. If I love it, I'm going to go for four years. Maybe I get tired of it and I want to go to Savannah to get some new influences, some new stimulus, meet some new friends. Then I want to travel to Europe for 10 weeks. And then I say, okay, I want to go home. I want to do my e-learning at home for the next 10 weeks. It really is fluid. It allows you to put yourself in an area where you feel comfortable, inspired, and creative, right? That Where is that going to happen? That's where we want you to put yourself. It's easy to get that creative block if you're in the same part in the same place for a long time maybe you just move and, and you know get some new influences and stimulus in your life we do offer more programs of study than any other art and design school in the u.s so you can see here these are our major programs we have a total of 115 programs with certificates and minors but 40 majors these are these right here uh, a lot of different things that you can study from traditional visual art to computer aided design to film and television to fashion to uh, things like service design and sculpture and sound design architecture school really anything that you are interested in SCAD probably has a path into that industry as long as it's an art and design related topic um, I know we have some people in the room here if there's anything you want me to chat about please feel free to write it in the chat box I'm happy to expand on that if there's something you don't know what it is I'm happy to go into it but just to uh, iterate on three things, SCAD is always looking to the future. We always wanna know what is coming and our students being put as pioneers in those industries. We don't want you playing catch up when you graduate. We want you to say, I've done this before. I know these programs, I know these materials and I'm ready to lead this project. So three things that we see are emerging markets that we want you to be uh, experienced in. Business of beauty and fragrance is one. This is a program 
that we created with, with L'Oreal Cosmetics. It's a mix between graphic design, fashion, and uh, marketing. So you would be designing not the cosmetics, but the bottle design, the package design. What is the name of this uh, product? Who am I selling it to? Think about the Jenner sisters. They do a really good job of marketing these products. They're designing the names and the colors and things, but they're not actually creating it, right? That would be the business of beauty and fragrance if you're interested in that. The other is immersive reality. This is virtual reality and augmented reality. These two things are really going to get bigger in the future over the next few years. Uh, already it's starting to be really affordable. You can buy that Oculus Rift for just under $300, kind of the same cost as a PlayStation or a console. So our students are working really a ton of stuff on this, not only game design, but things like learning to drum in VR or creating an augmented reality coffee table where it can turn into any board game you want, kind of like that Star Wars scene where the characters are fighting on chess. There are so many cool things coming out with this. And then also medical programs where if doctors want to practice procedures, they can go into VR and do a virtual procedure on a person and see how it goes and learn that process. A lot of really cool stuff coming down the pipeline with immersive reality and we want you guys to be deciding where that industry goes. The other is the uh, social strategy and management. So social media is big, it's prevalent in everyone's life today, whether you like it or not. We want you guys to be able to be brand managers and to really be able to get digital communication and your messages to go viral and reach a large audience. A good example of that, I might be dating myself a couple years, but that Wendy's Twitter a couple years ago, they hired a new social media manager, she came on, went viral calling out McDonald's and Burger King and all these things. It generated $60 million in profit the first year she was the social media manager for Wendy's. So there's a really good ways to get your message out there. There's also a lot of bad examples out in the industry too. So we want to make sure you guys are doing it correct and you're able to um, find success in that field and, and help people with their messaging. Daughter, oh, sorry. My daughter's interested in fashion merchandising. Can you tell me more about the program? and what she would need to get in. What type of internships are offered in the Savannah area? Okay, so a couple questions there. First one is fashion merchandising. The fashion merchandising is going to give you a pretty uh, well-rounded fashion education. You're gonna learn about the creation of fashion. You're gonna learn about the history of fashion, the trajectory of where it's going in the future. You're also gonna learn about marketing and advertising, um, creating a brand, selling that brand. Uh, it's, so it's a, business focused fashion major you're going to be learning about the you're going to learn to create some fashion but that's not the main focus it's going to be creation and then marketing of those things so maybe you want to be a buyer maybe you want to work as a design lead in a fashion studio um, a lot of different opportunities and the cool thing about these kind of majors is there isn't one path out of them as a fashion merchandising major you have a lot of different paths when we uh, finish in just a minute here i'll go through and i'll show you what it looks like in the uh, curriculum, what classes you would take, and kind of the flow chart of your career in that. And then to get in, what we look for for students to get accepted into SCAD, the main thing is that you are inspired and passionate about something. That's what we want to see, okay? So if you're an artist, even if you don't know what you want to do, you just say, I'm a creative and I know I need to follow some kind of creative path, SCAD is a great choice for you. We love students to come in undecided. They have over a year to decide what they want to major in so they can come in and be a sponge and absorb that information. What do you think about your program? Who are your professors? What are you going to do with this? And then when you're ready, you make a decision. Uh, personally, I don't think there's anything worse than forcing someone to choose what they want to do if they're not ready to do that yet. So we give you plenty of time to figure it out, especially with all of these majors that most high school students are not going to have a head exposure to or experience with. Um, and what we look for to get in, Besides that is national averages. If you can maintain the US national averages, you can be accepted to SCAD. Right now that's a 3.0 GPA, a 1080 SAT or a 21 ACT. Fall 21, test scores are waived. If you're a senior this year, you don't need to have test scores. So if you have a 3.0 or better, you can feel pretty confident that you will get into SCAD. Fall 22 and beyond, we're looking, you know, I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. It depends on SATs and ACTs and how they adjust or if we're allowed to take them. So my suggestion to you is attempt to take that if you can. Um, if you're not, we are not going to punish you guys for not being able to do it or not driving to Vermont to take an SAT or something. Um, and then internships, I'll chat just about a little bit more of that in the future when we get to the SCAD pro, um, program. 
This is our alumni employment rate, 99%. Three years in a row now, we've had a 99% employment rate, which we're so happy about. This shows that, and sorry, a 91% employment rate in the creative field. So if I studied fashion merchandising, I'm now working in fashion merchandising. So this is a really great number. It shows that our system is working. There's two pillars to SCAD. The first one is giving you the opportunities to fill up your toolbox with the skill sets, the programs, the tools, the mindsets necessary to be successful in your industry. The other is making sure that you have a gateway, a pathway into that industry using our alumni connections, our career services. We have had a really successful on the SCAD Pro internship, really successful uh, percentage of getting students into their field. So it, it's really been working well for us. Our career services is also for life. So if you graduate from SCAD, you can come back three years, five years, 25 years later and say, hey, I need help getting a job. We will help you do that. SCAD Pro is our uh, unique program. We're gonna ask you guys to go get internships. And in each of our campus locations, we have partners and partners and partners of amazing companies that love to come pick SCAD students to help them with internships or get experience at their companies. But we also have this SCAD Pro, which is somewhat like our in-house internship where companies like Google and Facebook and Fox and Lenovo, they will come and say, we know you guys have a bunch of design thinkers here. We wanna pick their brains and get some solutions from them. So you're gonna to get to work with these companies in school and add that to your resume. They pick typically, you know, depending on projects, Google picked three groups of three. They would have two weeks to figure out the, the presentation, what the problem was, what their solution was and to present to the uh, to the company, so Google, and these three won the project. Um, she actually got hired on as a user experience designer after this project directly with Google, which is pretty awesome. And their product is a real world product that you can now use. So if you go to Google Directions, Google Maps, there's like cars, bus, biking, or walking. If you need walking directions in a city, click on that. And at the bottom left, there's a live app. It'll ask you to pick your phone up. It'll figure out exactly where you are and it'll drop a dotted line on the street and tell you where to walk. A really cool thing it's in use now and so when they graduated they could say at their first job interviews you know here's the product i created with google it's gonna be hard to turn somebody down that's already had that kind of experience in my opinion so we've had a lot of success in 10 years with that i think 500 different collaborations over the years and then this is a great example of our spaces that we offer students there is so much to offer on campus uh even, even off campus through the e-learning but especially if you're on campus you have everything that's available at your disposal. Through your student ID, you can borrow all of this equipment from the camera to lighting, to green screen, to editing bays. Fashion students have about $20,000 worth of fashion threads that they can use in the program. There's sewing machines, Wacom tablets for animators, Macs, PCs. I mean, anything that you need in your industry that they're using, we have at school. Every two to three years, we'll update older materials and get them whatever's fresh and new. So you're always using the most uh, up-to-date programs and materials. And the best part is it's all included in your tuition. So there's no materials fees or computer fees. It's just part of school. Meaning if I wanna borrow this camera, I can swipe my ID, I can take it out for the weekend, I can shoot my commercial or skate video or whatever it is that I'm doing, bring it back when I'm done, it's, it's part of the uh, school. I can make my friends run around in front of the green screen or put them on a motion capture suit and fight so I can animate it. Um, it is all as well so if I accidentally kick over this this lighting and it smashes I'm not on the hook for a $300 light it's part of my tuition insurance um, that happens pretty often they may make you take another safety course or something but uh, you are insured through all of that we'd love to bring really high level talent to school to give you guys feedback on their experiences offer master classes question and answers tell talk about lessons they've learned or what how they found success in their field so just in the last year, these were some of our guests. Um, Alicia Keys did the commencement speech you saw. Daniel was one of my favorites. He, after Get Out, he came and talked about working with Jordan Peele and how amazing it was. And it was just such an interesting interview. Um, and then we had really cool guests, Samuel Jackson just recently, Alan Cumming. We had Andre 3000 do a two hour interview, which was awesome about his process. So tons of people that are gonna come. You know, We bring high level talent to give you guys feedback and real expectations. Athletes, anybody who wants to continue to compete at a university level, we have some really cool sports. We are the NAIA division. We have men's and women's tennis. We have men's and women's soccer, an equestrian team, track and field, cross country. There's a cycling team, golf team, swim team. 
a men's and women's lacrosse, there's a bowling team, there's a fencing team. And then we also have two esports teams. If anybody plays League of Legends or Overwatch, you can compete collegially at uh, that level as well. So if you're interested in that, there's a site you can search on Google for SCAD Athletics. It's a separate site where you'll fill out a recruit questionnaire and they'll get back to you. Anybody out there is ninth, 10th or 11th grade, we have one week summer programs. It's called SCAD Summer Seminars. It's a way to build your portfolio, get some expectations about what college is gonna be like, live on campus, make some friends, uh, but it's really fun. There's activities every night, roller derby, uh, silent disco, pool party. It's summer, so we want you guys to have fun, make friends, but also create a lot of art. Anyone who's in 11th grade, we have a rising star program for you guys this summer. It's a five week course. You're also going to build a lot of portfolio projects. You're going to have an art opening at the end where, for example, fashion would have a fashion show, visual arts has a gallery. Uh, film and television was ha they had their things debuted on the big screen for their family and friends. It was really cool. You also get to complete two college courses in five weeks. So you're going to get 10 college credits to take with you when you leave. Whether you come to SCAD or somewhere else, they're good for any, anywhere you want to go. The application, our application, in my opinion, is probably the easiest in the US. It takes five, 10 minutes. You don't need your transcripts or your portfolio when you apply. The application is telling us, hey, SCAD, I'm interested. We're gonna say, oh, uh, I see that you've applied. Let's talk about what's next. You're gonna have me as an advocate. You're also gonna have one on-campus person. I think it's gonna be Amy Leffler for Virginia. <clears throat> so if you ever need anything, you know exactly who to call. You don't have to call and figure out who it is. You just ring me or you ring Amy. I'm here to help with general information, scholarships, financial aid. If you want portfolio feedback or reviews, I'm happy to do that. That's the application. The second part is completing the application. That means turning in an official transcript. And if you would like, there is an optional portfolio that you can turn in. Portfolios are not required. If you don't turn it in, you don't get any scholarship for it. But if you do, you're gonna be considered for additional scholarship. So most students, I would recommend, please turn in if you have the option. I'm always happy to work with you on it if you would like as well. And then visits, we just opened campus back up. We actually have an on-campus SCAD day tomorrow, which is reduced number of students, but there's a lot of people interested. So it's gonna be a pretty, busy day on campus where they open up and you can see classrooms and talk to faculty and professors. And then if you want to connect social media for us, it's really cool. Uh, Instagram is my favorite. Good YouTube. If you watch SCAD TV, go to YouTube and search SCAD TV. If you're interested in film and television, you can see the yearly sitcoms they create. Each year the class decides, writes, produces and creates a sitcom that then they release onto YouTube, which they're actually really funny. I enjoyed the one I like the best is called The Buzz. It's about slackers working at a coffee shop. It's nice. So check it out if you're interested. And that's kind of SCAD 101 in a nutshell. Um, there are two other things that I would like to tell you guys about. If there's any questions in the box, let me know while I look this up. But I want to talk to you guys about curriculum and what is um, what the progression looks like of SCAD students. Share my screen. So this is our landing page. This is our landing page here. If you go into the academics, oh, sorry, the application is here. It's very short. I'll show you the first part. You go into freshman application. Oh, an error occurred, okay, it's down. Typically it's there and it'll be seven tabs. It's what's your name, where are you from, what's your bio information, and then on the seventh tab will be a submit button and then pay. You'll pay $60 for the application fee. For anybody who is here today or watching this, I'll give you the code. It's PROS2021. That will be an application fee waiver to waive your $60 fee. All capitals, PROS2021. Use that if you would like. Um, then I'm gonna show you guys about some of the programs here. So all of our programs are listed in detail lots of the information about them. We were talking about fashion merchandising. So let's go in and look at that. Uh, fashion marketing and management. You are program this, we offer a BFA, a Bachelor of Fine Arts in this. You're gonna get a blurb about what it is. What is this program? Then you're gonna get uh, careers. Okay, if I'm a fashion marketing major, what are the jobs that I can apply for? Here you go. These are things that we would recommend that you could possibly apply for. Of course, there are a lot more than that, but these are just some ideas. 
And then what have our students been hired into in the last two years? You can obviously see some big names here. Uh, they're having a lot of success with these students getting hired and into their fields. And then what are they creating? Every single major, we have student work. If you want examples of what they make, you can watch those videos. And a really cool thing is our faculty is public. So if you want to, they're great. You have to have at least 10 years experience in your field before you can apply. So you not only bring expertise, you bring network connections with you from those 10 years. So I can go in here and see exactly what they've done. Uh, let's look at Dejan's pro, profile here and you can see he's got his master's degree. I mean, he's got everything he's done in here. Um, things like animation, best professors will have credits in like Moana and Big Hero 6. And for, I mean, so you can go and see what have they done? What am I gonna be working with in, in these faculty? And then the degree, how do I achieve my degree? Every single major at SCED is going to have three components. It's gonna have a foundations portion, a general education portion, and then your major curriculum. If you do not know exactly what you wanna study for a major, you can come in and start doing foundations, drawing one, design one, color theory courses. You can also do gen eds. These are gonna be to make sure you're a well-rounded student, but ours are focused towards being a design thinker. So instead of business 101, it's design of business. Public speaking is speaking of ideas. History is art history. Um, communication 101 is gonna be digital communication. So it's all tailoring towards you being well-rounded, but also a design thinker. And then you get to major requirements. They don't need to be in that order. If I know exactly what I wanna study, I can start foundations and a gen ed and maybe a fashion course. But this is the progression. You gotta learn about your textiles and then design, how to present, um, what is the aesthetic in my style, um, learning about retail buying. So you're gonna have a class where you simulate and maybe run a business throughout the 10 weeks and see how your business progresses. Um, and then you'll build up to things like your internship and the SCAD Pro project if you wanna join SCAD Pro. And then you have electives as well. So total degrees are 180 hours, four years. So let me show you what the schedule looks like. I've said um, a few times now that uh, we don't work on kind of semester systems. We have quarters, so there's 10 week quarters. Typical students, traditional path, you would come in three out of four quarters per year, whichever three you like. 10 weeks, 10 weeks, 10 weeks, and then 10 weeks off. So even if you went all year round like this, there's still 12 weeks of break. So you could be accelerated if you'd like. But typical students come in fall, there's a seven and a half week break between Thanksgiving and New Year's for students. Then winter, 10 weeks and a week and a half break, 10 weeks and then a summer off. If you wanna do an internship in winters, you have seven and a half weeks so it's less competitive than summers. That's kind of a good time to do it if you'd like. But not only can I pick new courses for each of these, I could also switch Atlanta, Savannah, Atlanta, Savannah, you know, as much as you would like, as long as you are aware, that's a 10 week quarter, okay? Um, calendars are here, everything that you need to know. Some of the really cool things about SCAD are residence halls. I'll show you the new one in Atlanta. It is brand new this last fall. It's brand new for students. We don't have dorms. Dorms are like a bunch of rooms and a shared bathroom in the middle. We don't wanna to have to, our students to have to do that. So we give you a room with two bedrooms two people in each, there's a shower room only, a toilet room only, and a sink room so that you can kind of split it up. And this is the building in Midtown, it's 14 stories of residence halls. And then this at the top is a giant art studio that you can go look over Midtown. It's open 24 hours a day if you can't sleep and you wanna go paint the night sky, feel free to do that. Inti interiors of every building look amazing, they're well designed. Um, they're just meant to be inspiring and, and keep you creative. That's the building here. So you can go up to this art studio and overlook. It's really a million dollar view of Atlanta too. It's cool. So that is uh, pretty much SCAD 101. I know I'm going through a lot pretty quickly. I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that people have. If there's anything you want me to expand on. I mean, I'll definitely leave my contact information for uh, people if you, if you want to get in touch with me. Thank you so much. This information has been so helpful. I know for us as counselors and for any of our students that are watching today, I know this information is great. Um, and I'm going to stop recording now. So if anyone in the chat, anyone in, that's watching right now live, if you want to have some communication and talk, take yourself off mute, feel free to. Thank you.